Hi, this is Quantum Nomad. Welcome to my channel. So in uh, this video, I cannot resist the hive. So let's try to use DeepSeek to code in PyScript for trading view. But before the video, small announcement, I'm launching my uh, Quant Tribe community. So here you'll get access to all my video courses, my trading indicators and community of uh, Quants. So if you're interested, uh, check the link in the description. I think I hope that will be useful for you. So here is DeepSeek, so let's ask him to code certain scripts for us. And let's start with something quite simple. Uh, code a script in uh, script uh, to plot a vertical line for the first bar in a day. So just we want to see where the day starts and where the session basically starts. Let's see if he can handle that. So it seems to work fine, I think. But it's but it's great. Okay, let's let's copy that and see in trading view if it works correct or not. So it seems like yeah, we have this like uh, uh, labels. We're gonna see the line because I think they, they it actually plots the line from the low to high, and we just cannot. Uh, see that. So let's ask him, um, can you make a uh, line from top to bottom? Let's see if that's possible. Let's check this again. Okay, seems like we have an error now. Um, yeah, maybe this is because of X extent uh, intenders. This doesn't work. Let's ask him about this error just in case. For your script. But actually what I see already is that it's actually quite fast, so it doesn't I think it's faster than ChatGPT01 in terms of like um, working. Okay, let's see if he actually fixed that. Um, okay, it still doesn't work, so I need to fix it myself. So these indents are not correct, so I need to go and fix them this way. But let's see if it, at least the, if it fixes the kind of the line thing. It's not copied for. Okay, something is still wrong. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of don't understand that also, like in PineScript, you cannot do these comments. Um, in the when when you rob the lines, so it's a bit of a um, yeah hassle to work with them. It tries to comment it, but it doesn't know how to comment. Well, let's update in the chart. I see something wrong. Um, it's not the, okay. I can do this one here. So it still requires a bit of a yeah. So lines still not there. So it doesn't understand how to. Um, to extend the line. So I think if, if he will do the same, but he tried before high low and extend both, then it should work, but it just doesn't understand it, to be honest. So this, this should work. So it doesn't fully understand you, but let's try something different. So um, I will ask him to code me a function. Code me a function in uh, PyScript that computes an average in a few different ways. Um, expansion of the average, simple of the average, which um, and like for example. And let's see how it uh, goes, how we do call this function. But I think it should be more or less fine. 
yeah, it's it's not what I can I ask him for. Um, so let's stop here for now. So can you code uh, this in one function when I can select uh, the type? Let's see if it will understand. Okay, so this is what I actually ask him for. Let's see if this will work. Okay, it's nice that actually it actually produced me like these inputs as well. So already I can copy this with inputs. So let's see if uh, this works. So let's update the chart. Okay, it seems like it works fine. We have these inputs, we can change the source, we can change the type of moving average and based on selection it seems to work fine. Um, so now let's do a try to ask him to create a strategy from us. Um, can you uh, create a strategy from it uh, when uh, price cross over um, MA go long when cross under close the position. Let's see if it will manage to create us um, a strategy that we want. Okay, so it seems like strategy is ready. So let's uh, add this to our trade new and see how it looks. Um, so it seems like it works, right? So yeah, here, for example, we are long here. Yeah, close here, we're long here, close here. So it seems uh, to work quite well. So let's do a bit more advanced kind of um, kind of requests. So um, can you add a, a stop loss at 1% and make it uh, an input? Let's see if it will manage to add us uh, some kind of um, risk management tools. So it seems like the strategy is ready. So it, it had actually added an input for us. It computed the stop loss price. But the problem is that I don't see the exit here, right? I don't see the exit function function with uh, stop loss. Can you add it? And the problem is that like I know what to expect if person is not kind of very, very well understand Pinescript, it will um, kind of might copy this without knowing, but it's actually not functional. So I, like, I have mixed feelings for now. So it seems like, you know, from one way, it seems to work a bit better than ChatGPT, but I don't really feel that it's just leapfrog from what they do there. Okay, so now he added this strategy exit function. So let's copy this and see if this actually works. Okay, yeah, this seems to work, right? We have here take profit or stop loss. So it seems to work fine. So let's start to bother him with a bit more um, advanced requests as well. So trying to understand if he actually can do advanced things. So um, can you add an input for uh, error um, default, uh, default is three. Um, can you put profit target as stop loss by, by error? So let's see if he will be able to understand what I mean here. So I just want to kind of add a risk um, rate and just to multiply my stop loss uh, by that. So it seems it understood what I want to do, but let's see if you can code this. Okay, so strategy is ready. Let's copy this to our trading view and see if this actually makes sense. So we have yeah, it's hard to say like we need to find like a very profitable trade. Um, that's, uh, 
Okay, so it seems to work. So here we have uh, profit target triggered and it seems to work fine. Um, so yeah, so it seems like that it works uh, quite well. Um, let's start asking pretty complex stuff. So like, um, can you uh, plot the plus and profit target on the screen? So we'll be able to plot that because it's not so easy to do this in, um, in trading view. So let's see if he will manage to do this. It seems to work fine. You can see we have um, this stop loss and profit target levels. Um, it seems to work fine. So yeah, no problem with that. So let's add, ask him a couple of more things. Um, if a bit more advanced, um, I don't want to risk uh, more than 1% of my, let's say, Correct. Say if I, I want risk um, one percent of my equity in every trade, can you compute um, the quantity of the trade based on based on stop loss? Let's see if he will be able to understand that. So I, what I want him to do is that I want him to compute 1% of my equity, divide this by stop loss, and then to kind of compute quantity this way. So in the worst case scenario, I lose 1% of my trade. Quite often traders use this kind of um, conditions. Yeah, I think this one is a bit complicated for him, to be honest. Let's see if he will be able to manage that. Okay, he's busy. Everyone play, playing around with it, so let's try again. Well, I think it usually he understood what I want to do. Let's try to see if he will be able to call this. So let's copy this and see if it makes sense. Okay, so um, we can see now we have different quantities. Uh, we need to see what's our equity. Um, hard to say, I think it might be correct. So we need to see the code for that. But I think it actually managed to to do what um, what, I, what I would ask him for. So it seems um, to work quite well. So just as a conclusion, I think, um, actually I like it more than ChatGPT. It, it makes less errors, so it's always called in version 5 of Pinescript, so I think it's kind of got it that it's kind of the last version. It, it makes less errors, so if it's there's an error, it's actually more like a logical one that he doesn't understand what to do with it. But it seems like, in terms of like code quality, and um, you know, in general, if you always ask him some questions, ask him to change things, I think it works quite well. So in general, I think that it's a pretty good tool and it's free to use to help you code. So it should be a pretty, pretty interesting solution for you. So I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.